The meetings industry is a crazy and harried place and there are so many tasks and bits and pieces that we need to keep organized. So whether you're a meeting planner or a meeting partner, keeping all those bits and pieces organized is a full-time job in and of itself. So today I'm going to talk about some productivity tools that will help keep your business more organized. Hey, meeting partners, it's Leanne from leannecalderwood.com. And over the years of building my site selection business and now with this blog, there are tasks and bits and pieces to my business flying everywhere. And you might find yourself in the same place where you're trying to manage multiple programs, you're trying to manage multiple priorities. And now you've got some goals set over here to tackle some strategic projects. And you're trying to figure out how to manage all these bits and pieces. So today I wanted to talk about some of the best productivity tools that I have found to help manage both my business and my blog. And hopefully you'll find some tools that will help manage yours as well. Now I should start off by saying these are not organizational mandated tools. So for example, Cvent, which is a very robust, large sourcing and research tool for the hotel industry, those aren't the tools I'm talking about. These are tools that you can personally use um, to manage your stuff, your business, your programs, your goals, um, those kinds of things. So I'm leaving the tools that your organization mandates, what tools your hotel mandates to look at meeting space, uh, and for meeting planners, the tools that potentially you're using to manage your registration and your uh, mobile apps. Those are for another blog post. So these are pr productivity tools that you can use starting today. So here we go. My first and most important technology tool is a robust project management system. Now, there's a couple on the market that I really like and I think they would be really good for you guys. One is called Asana and one is called Trello. I use Asana personally and both Asana and Trello are project management tools where you can create tasks and create projects and you can even do it with small teams. So you might find that you really enjoy this project project management tool and you want to invite some of your team members uh, into your task world with you. Both Asana and Trello have free versions as well as paid versions. Now I use Asana's free version and I've managed to implement some tips and tricks where I can kind of stay with the free version and it manages my business and my business hub all in the free version. But take a look at it and see if there are some features of a paid version that might work work better for your business or your projects. And for both tools, the paid version isn't that much and it really is worth every penny when you look at the time that it's saving you in getting optimally organized. Technology tool number two is my Google Calendar. If you are a Google user and you have Google Calendar and you have family members that are also Googleites, this is the tool to keep your family organized. So my husband has a Google Calendar. In fact, he has two Google Calendars, a personal and a business. Both of my sons have a Google Calendar. And then I actually have three separate Google Calendars depending on what I'm doing. But any family member now can look at the calendar as a whole. It's all color coded. We can see where people are at, who's got hockey at what time, they can see when I'm traveling out of town. Um, so if it's not Google Calendar, it's got to be some kind of online calendar to help keep you organized. Um, you might even be using or, uh, calendars at your organization. Um, hopefully it's as robust as Google, but definitely getting a Google Calendar um, in your home setting, especially if you're on your phones quite a bit, is the way to go and the way to manage your family. Technology tool number three is Doodle. Doodle is your online scheduling best friend. So gone are the days where you would clutter up everyone's email with trying to find a time that worked for your meeting. And you've got multiple people emailing you back saying, yes, this works. Yes, this doesn't work. Oh, no, now this does work. And back and forth, back and forth, you would go, ugh, get rid of all that email. Get it out of your inbox right now and set up a Doodle. It's a free tool and all you do is you go in and you specify days and times that would work for the meeting and then you send the link 
out to everybody. And then they respond through the link. And all you do is you go to the link and you see all these check marks and X's on where people can and cannot attend your meeting. It's brilliant. I so excited about Doodle. I wish I had stock. I love Doodle. Try it today the next time you're organizing a meeting. Technology tool number four is Hootsuite. Hootsuite is the social media management tool. I love Hootsuite. I can go into Hootsuite and create micro bites of content for my Twitter, my LinkedIn, my Facebook, even my Instagram. So it keeps all of my social media platforms in one place. For meeting planners, they tend to use Hootsuite, especially if they're managing different Twitter profiles, and they can put all of those organizations Twitter profiles in one Hootsuite. So you're not jumping from Twitter to Twitter to Twitter. So Hootsuite is a great way to consume content because you can organize it in different places. It's a great way to schedule content so I can write a piece of micro content today and schedule it a month or a year from now. And and it's a great way to have one place for all of your social media platforms and posting. I'm actually going to go into Hootsuite in Twitter uh, in a great deal of detail in November. So if Twitter as a meeting partner interests you, watch for that. Stay in touch with me on that. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to walk you through Hootsuite step by step. I'm going to walk you through the ins and outs and best practices of Twitter as a meeting partner. It's going to be fantastic. So that's coming up soon. Watch for it. Uh, but take a look at Hootsuite in the meantime and see if that's a great tool for your social media management. Technology tool number five is Evernote. Evernote, as the name suggests, is a note taking app. Uh, but it's a lot more than that. And I find I'm taking photos of things throughout my life and adding it to Evernote so that I have those notes for later on. Um, it's it, There's so many features of Evernote, it's hard to capture in, in 30 seconds on a blog post, but it really is a, an all-encompassing note-taking tool and it keeps your notes and task lists organized so that when you're out and about, you can just refer to your Evernote and get all your lists there. The biggest thing I use Evernote for actually is its business card feature. So I no longer have a Rolodex of business cards, but rather I take the picture of a business card on my phone and I upload it to Evernote, which actually links to LinkedIn and finds that person's LinkedIn profile as well. And extremely searchable. You can search by the person's first name or even their organization organization name or address and but a boop all the business cards then come up and I'm able to find that individual quickly. So Evernote is a robust tool. It's also a robust business card app tool. So rather than having two tools to do business cards and notes, you can do it all on Evernote. Technology tool number six is Headspace. Headspace is a meditation app and I have it on my phone and it's a 10 minute meditation that I do every morning on the free version. Now there is a paid version to Headspace which I actually plan on paying for soon. Uh, it, this just sets me up for success in the morning. I find the meditations really pull me in to myself and I can focus on the moment versus focusing on all the tasks I have to tackle in a day where I can use all the other apps and tools that I've outlined here. Uh, but Headspace, it really uh, allows me to just focus internally for 10 minutes every morning before having to tackle the external world. So if you've tried some meditation apps but haven't given Headspace a try, I encourage you to try Headspace. Um, but above all else, find a meditation app that works for you or find a meditation platform that works for you, whether it's journaling or going for a walk or listening to uh, someone on an app kind of take you through a guided meditation. Find something that grounds you in the morning before you tackle your day. Technology tools seven and eight go hand in hand with one another. They are PicMonkey and Canva. So PicMonkey is a Photoshop tool. And if you've never used Photoshop before, this is one of the easiest Photoshop tools that you can find on the market. Super easy friendly. It allows you to alter your selfies or other pictures and add layers of light and color, 
for those selfies. It can eliminate wrinkles. So I know where that feature is, um, as well as, as um, lighten your hair, even add some makeup if you want. Uh, so this is the Photoshop tool for those of us who have never used Photoshop before. Super easy to use. And then once you've altered that image, you can then potentially flip it over to Canva. So Canva is the graphic design tool for the rest of us. And it allows us to create posters, social media posts with text and color. It also allows us to create workbooks and brochures. So the resources that I put out through leannecalderwood.com and you can find that under resources on my website all of those pieces were created in Canva. So I didn't have to pay a graphic designer to put those together. Those were all done using the Canva tool. So PicMonkey and Canva can go hand in hand and create professional looking posts and paper products for your business. That's my list of technology tools that helps me get through my day here as both a meeting partner and as a blogger. I hope you found some tools that may help you polish up some of the posts and content that you're creating, or even some things that you're doing for your business and your meeting planning clients. Hopefully some of these tools will keep you more organized. For more productivity tips, jump on over to my website at leannecalderwood.com. There is a link to Productivity Pantry, uh, which is my space to put all things productivity and keeping organized. Uh, find some tools in there as well as under the resources page. And remember, if you sign up for a resource, you're added to my weekly newsletter, which doesn't suck. And it's going to have lots of productivity tips on there as well that you won't find otherwise on the blog. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.